Hello all. I literally just hit myself in the face with the book. Awesome. So today we're going to be reading or discussing. I'd rather be reading and apparently today I need to just be reading and shut up. Um, the Delights and Dilemmas of the Reading Life by Anne Bogle. This is part of my second book club. Um, so this is the one we're going to be using the Book Riot reading log. Wah, wah. So the format will be a teeny bit different. Um, this was written by Anne Bogle and it was actually published this year, 2018. So pretty cool. So books shape, define, and enchant us. This collection of reflections, um, Anne Bogle reminds you of the book that first hooked you the place where you fell in love with reading, and all the moments afterward that made you who you are today. So this book in three words, um, to sum up, I would say is sweet, light, and wistful. Correct. Sometimes I feel compelled to read a book, or someone feels compelled to recommend it, for reasons I can't discern, and only later do I find it's essential to me right then. Haven't you ever felt that in your life? Books, songs, movies, anything really. I'm like, yeah, I totally, I totally understand that. Correct. You can't comfortably manage your purse because you shoved three books in on the way out the door. Guilty. I usually have in my purse, um, my transportable to be read list. So when I'm ever at a bookstore or a library or any place that has books, I can whip out the list real quick, look and see because Lord knows I can't remember if I have that book or not. But I can whip it out, look and see and be like, oh yeah. So I carry that, that's always in my purse. purse. And I usually carry um, a book that I'm reading and uh, and then this which is my note taking notebook that's why I got the little stickies so I can put tabs in there and then when I'm done I go back but I mean you need to have the tabs with you at all times because if you're taking the book with you at all times you know you never know so that's three right there and then, if I'm nearing the end of a book, I'll put a second book in there. So that's four pieces of literature in my purse. In addition to all the other crap in my purse, ladies, you know what I'm talking about. I'm like, should I just invest and get a diaper bag and carry that instead? I really don't know. I don't want a backpack. If y'all have any ideas, let me know. Because sometimes it is just a mess. And then, correct, your to-be-read list holds 8,972 titles, and you want to read everyone? Your to-be-read list is unquestionably too long to finish before you die. You have countless unread books at home, but can't resist buying one more. Also guilty. And even if you see a book that you think might not be that interesting, you still sometimes get it because you're like, I might like it. Even if it's just a might, you get it anyways because you might like it. You might need it later on down the road. You know how it is. Anyways, oh gosh, I, 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 I gave that book an A. It's an A to F system, so A and A for Anne Bogle. The next book I'm going to be reading um, is for another book club that I have. <laughs> it's called An Absolutely Remarkable Thing by Hank Green. And he is the brother of John Green who writes um, a lot of the young adult books. So we'll see how that goes. And I really love books. So, you know, get out there people. Read. Do lists. Don't give up. You know, read. Just read as much as you can, as hard as you can, as fast as you can, because you might outlive your to-be-read list.
You never know. <laughs> bye. Oh, wait, hey, don't say bye. Don't say bye. So, to match with the, the book, sorry. This is uh, another collection of bookshelves, and I tried to kind of look librarian, so it's kind of like a, ooh, a messy bun. Really super messy. It's falling down. I'm a disheveled librarian. <laughs>